welcome back everybody. And um, we have, we've actually found a couple of skeletons. Just noticed the other one. So it sounds like, or it looks like they have pulled in to the area, which is probably a good indication that the lions, the, the males have also pulled out of the area. So there is one that the, this hind is actually looking at a few, well, yeah, maybe a couple of hundred meters to the left. I think eating a bit of bone I can hear. I don't know, I'm gonna might have to pull forward for you. I think it's just behind the tree. Yeah. Let me see if I can pull forward. Cool. Oh. Nope. That one's off. Just there. Is that better for you? So it's likely it might have picked up a piece and run off with it. But we'll take it easy as we go along the road and see what is there. To say, I'm sure I heard some hissing from the vultures, which tends to suggest they are fighting over the scraps. Uh, is there another hyena? There could be another hyena dotted around somewhere that this one's looking at. Let's see. Face just forward, so the uh, ears are all forward, just to try and detect any information, so uh, whether it's scent, sight, or sound. Possibly still being wary. Lions, they could be picking up the lion scent. Oh, James, hoping to see some jackal around by the carcass. It's very possible. So shall we carry on and see what is unfolding over by the carcass? As much as I do like the hyena, it would be nice to see what is unfolding there. So we've got quite a little drive through the bush to get to the carcass. We've only just turned off. A, a few vultures in the tree. Oh, okay, so I think with the lions maybe leaving the area, it sounds like Tristan has another cat that he's trying to follow up on for you. So fingers crossed, she might be around here. <laughs> 